Today we are with a very well-known industry leader, Mr. Sridhar Vembu, CEO of Zoho. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having me. Greetings. Namaste. Very happy to be here in Riyadh and talking to you. How's your day going so far at LEAP? Really good. This LEAP uh, event has been big for us. Uh, Saudi Arabia has been already a fastest growing part of our market for us. And with the data center announcement and we have opened here uh, Zoho.sa, we are seeing even more renewed interest. So we are very excited to be here. So Zoho is in the market. It's a huge success since the last 23 years. So reflecting on this successful journey, can you share with our audience some of your most major thing that is very close to your heart? So the big thing about our the way that we have grown is completely bootstrapped. We never took outside investment. But even more important, we have been able to nurture talent, create and nurture talent. People like Haider, who heads of our whole Middle East operation, he's been with us like 26 years now. And I'm very happy, very proud of that fact. And we have so many people like him uh, who have made it their home to be in Zoho. It's an extended family. That's the most special part of being Zoho. So what are some of the most innovative uh, solutions that Zoho is planning to introduce in the UAE or KSA market? So first our uh, contextual intelligence, CI we call it, and Zia, our Zoho intelligent agent, the contextual intelligence vision is about bringing your business data, train the models, but deploy it only for your business. And no, nobody else will get it. That way there is no possibility of leak of that confidential data. The second is applying AI solutions to accelerate custom software customization and development for specific line of business verticalized applications. That's where we are investing heavily and we are very excited about that. As you just mentioned about your employees, you taking care of them. So one of your very popular statement that is I identify good people and then get out of their way. So what is your motive behind this yeah. statement? So really good people want uh, autonomy, sort of freedom in this, not being completely micromanaged, all that. So the autonomy, mastery and purpose, those three big things. That's what really creates happy employees. And of course, the company has to fairly share the rewards. If we do well, the employees have to do well. So these two things. And it also has a benefit. Uh, I personally get to work on code, all of that, because so many of our employees take care of uh, the business. Like Haider is a good example. And that's, the, uh, that's, the, that's what is special about Zoho. Coming back towards this technical side of the company. So as AI is continuing to reshaping the IT sector, so what is your perspective on the future of AI influence in the industry? Yeah, one major area that I uh, want to highlight is AI applied to software development itself. That means we can enable software engineers to be much more productive, maybe 10 times more productive. Software development itself is a very hands-on, very sort of handicraft activity where we weave together code. Now machine tools are coming that can make us 10 times more productive. What that means for the software industry, SaaS industry, and what it means for business software models, that's what is very interesting about it. We are doing some hard thinking about all those topics. So looking ahead in the future, so how do you envision the future of Zoho? We, we believe this, this AI-driven productivity in software development and our transnational localism, investing in regions, making sure that regional talent here, local talent here benefits from Zoho, that we combine the two. So we can apply our productivity to get closer to the customer, provide highly specialized solutions for them, still add product or standard product mass market prices. That's the vision where we are heading. So as we are at LEAP 2024, so before we end this, I want to know how important is LEAP for Zoho? LEAP has been a major presence for us. We last year, we announced our data center. This year, we launched it. So we are making major announcements here. And uh, the government is highly supportive. I want to place on record how uh, important the, our relationship with the government has been. And we are enabling local businesses to transform digitally. 
last year we issued like more than 5 million Saudi real credit. All of them became customers this year. So we are expanding the program to get businesses on board at quickly. So it's a very exciting market. That's very interesting. Thank you so much Thank for you. giving your time to us. Thank you. Thank you.